Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a pitch to a kick drum in Reaper. I have a project set up here where I've already created a drum part using a drum machine with separate outputs for each one of the drum sounds. And it sounds like this. So the separate outputs for our kick and the other sounds in the part. It's very important that you separate the kick on its own track. I also set up a keyboard part, which sounds like this. And if I solo the kick, it sounds like this. So in this video, I want to add a pitch to that kick that'll represent the bass part. So let's start by creating a new track right here. We'll name it bass. We'll give it a color. Set up the input to my USB MIDI keyboard. Turn on monitoring and put it into record. If I play my keyboard, I should see level right here. And we do. So now we'll add a sound that's going to create pitch triggered by a kick drum. Go to the effects on the track. We'll use the Reaper effects right here and choose Reasynth. Now, this plugin is just a basic synthesizer that starts off with a sine wave. And it sounds like this. But if we play real low on the keyboard, It produces a bass note, which can be triggered by a kick part to create a pitch for our part. So now we're going to put down the chords with this synth. I'll create an item right here, switch the mode, record MIDI overdub right here, and we can record the chord changes right in here. Let's quantize it by double clicking the item, which opens up the MIDI editor. And we can quantize it right here. We'll use 16th notes, position, note and end. Let's hear it back and make sure it's perfect. Now, all it does is it outlines the chords. The actual rhythm is going to be triggered by the kick. And we could do that by adding another plugin to this track after the synth. Let's use a gate. Double click it, use the Reaper plugins, and use the Reaper gate right here called Rea Gate. Now, if we leave it like this, it's only going to gate when it's not playing. We want it to be triggered by the kick. So, what we should do is go to the kick track, grab the routing. And drag and drop it onto the plugin. See how the cursor changes to a patch cable, letting us know we're dragging the audio to this plugin. Drop it, and it's sending audio one and two to three and four. So we're using three and four as a side chain. We could turn off the MIDI right here and set up the detector input to be auxiliary input left and right which we could see by looking at the pins is set up for three and four to be the auxiliary inputs. So this gate's going to be triggered by the kick part, which is going to trigger our bass. Let's solo the bass. It sounds good. There's a glitch on the attack. 
we could soften that by adjusting the attack. If we make it quicker, it'll have more glitch, and we can cut it off right here. Now how long the note is can be adjusted with the release. We can make it longer. Or shorter. That feels good there. Now let's hear it with the kick. Now our kick drum has a pitch to it, as this pitch note is mixed in with the kick. So let's hear it with the rest of the drums. So it kind of creates a bass part, but realistically, we just added a pitch to that kick. So we probably don't even need to add a bass. Let's hear it with the synth, so anyway, that's how you add a pitch to a kick drum in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!